Okay, so IXXYs, control freaks, let's talk about introverted judging types. I mean, this goes out even to you INFJs. Yes, this is true, INFJs are one of the four control freaks of the Myers-Briggs type indicator. What I've learned when studying the 16 personalities is uh, introverted judging types practice control mainly over the self. So they believe in self-discipline, they believe in pushing themselves, coming up with rules and laws and principles for everything they do. And so often IXXJs, they have a very tight methodology for themselves. I have to be this kind of a person, I have to act this way, I have to follow these rules and these principles, I have to speak and achieve this result. And what you see echoed all the time in IXXJs is this desire that by controlling myself, by showing who is boss over your own life, by practicing discipline, by being and anticipating the future and what is going to happen, you will achieve control and mastery of the universe. Nothing that happens around you, no matter how chaotic, no matter how crazy, will surprise you because you are fully in control of yourself. You are able to deal with anything that comes up. You are prepared for anything. You have studied for every single outcome. You have prepared, you have written down and you have thought it over and you have planned for it and you have anticipated it. You've built a system around it, a theory around it to figure it out. You know it all. You've come to gain understanding. You've figured out the secrets of the universe. And so nothing around you can throw you off your course. You can stay motivated. You can focus on your goal. You can keep going forward. Yeah, the IXXA ambition is the impossible ambition of uh, seeking to become a kind of omniscient, all-powerful being who has mastered himself to an extreme and who has figured out life and how the world works from a distance and using that theory, using that awareness, using that understanding, you can make decisions that give you a sense of power and control over yourself and other people. So INFJs and ISTJs alike, they all like to control people. However, INFJs have it in their head that it is somehow against their values to tell other people what to do. And so INFJs practice soft diplomacy, soft control, and soft premeditation. What that means is INFJs anticipate actions and behavior from other people. INFJs prepare for and come to understand other people and build up solid theories about human behavior and human relations. INFJs study for and figure out how people work and so they can base their actions and their behavior on their understanding of other people. Nothing another person does will ever surprise an INFJ. At least that's the goal. An INFJ seeks to fully comprehend everybody. An INFJ hopes that by understanding everybody, nobody will ever surprise you. Nobody will ever throw you off your course. Entered ENFPs and ENTPs. I mean, true this. You cannot control the universe. You cannot make everything the way you want it. You cannot anticipate every single action and every single event that is going to happen in the world. You can speculate about things and you can try to understand them. You can get some base theoretical awareness and that can help you. But be careful that this does not become a crutch on you. Be careful that you're not so afraid of that feeling of loss of control that you can't even get out of the house. Don't avoid learning and going out and exploring the world just because that's your demon. Don't think for yourself that just by leaving the house and leaving the world that is within my control and doing things that are outside my experience and my awareness, I will face chaos. And don't tell yourself that's necessarily a bad thing. I mean, it's a stressor, that's for sure. And it's a challenge. That's right. Going to a new place, traveling to a new country, going outside your comfort zone, 
those are all healthy things of healthy mature people. And so what IXXJs have to learn is to let go of some control and to go into the world and to try to experience it. I mean, set some time aside for yourself. Be nice and gentle to yourself. Don't be too hard on yourself. Don't go from zero to hundred. Don't jump off the cliff. Don't uh, take a deep dive into the unknown just like that. Do set aside an hour a day to study ahead. Do take you some time to plan out your day. Do take some time to self-reflect and to figure yourself out and to make sure that you know and act with awareness of self. And yeah, then after you've done that, do go out and do go and try new things and do go and experiment. Go out and gather data, go out and consume, go out and learn, go out and master the world. It is there for your sake and it has something to tell you. What I can tell you is that the world is chaotic and it is going to throw you off your course and it is going to mess with your plans and it's going to throw out opportunities you had not anticipated. But you cannot be like this all the time. And what's going to happen is you're going to be like this. You're going to zoom in and then you're going to have to zoom out. You're going to have to zoom in and then you're going to have to zoom out. You're going to have to focus and set a goal and put yourself to some tasks and set some rules for yourself. And then you're going to have to open up and you're going to have to say, okay, so what did I miss? What did I not see? What didn't work? What, how did it work? What did I find by doing this? And what can I or could I have anticipated better? And, you know, when that happens, when, God forbid, chaos knocks you over, when things happen that you didn't expect, don't be afraid and don't get too stressed out. Tell yourself, I can handle this. I can deal with this. I can accept this. I can accept and move forward from this. I can figure this out. I can take care of this. I can regain control. Control is constantly lost, but also constantly regained. And you can find a healthy way to exercise control without losing the opportunity to learn new things. So that's IXXDA control freaks for you. Let me know if you like this video and share it with people you think need to hear this message. Thanks for watching and see you all in the next video.